Okay, so you have your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus or pretty much any iOS 8 device and you want to increase your battery life. So let's do a few things here. First thing, click on settings and the most obvious thing is the brightness, okay? Uh, click on display and brightness and then we, I mean basically what we want to do is leave it below halfway because the screen takes a lot of battery usage and then you can leave the auto brightness on. For myself, I mean for this video, I'm just going to leave it a little bit brighter so you guys can see this my phone here. Now I'm going to click on back. And we're going to go into Wi-Fi first, okay? Now a lot of you guys will have this on, as to join networks. The thing is when you have this on, it's constantly searching in the background for possible Wi-Fi connections. Turn it off. It's a battery drainage. Let me go back here and then we'll go into notifications. And you can see the notifications here, you know, those annoying uh, notifications that always like pops up. A lot of this stuff, I mean, it just, it just, you just don't need it. You know, for instance, uh, I don't know, this attraction here, a loud notification, like, come on, I don't need that. I'm tired of seeing a stupid notification. Uh, I don't know, tips, tips, I mean, like, come on, I don't know what that is. Like, turn that off. Okay, let's go back now and let's go into general. And let's see here, let's go under accessibility. And from here, we're gonna to go to reduce motion, click on reduce motion, and make sure that this is turned on. We wanna reduce the motion. Basically what this is, is gonna do is gonna disable the 3D uh, wall effect for your apps and the animation as well. Come on, you don't really need it. It's just draining your battery. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back again. And uh, background app refresh, this is a big one. You know, you're basically, your apps are constantly refreshing, updating the background. By default, this is gonna be on, and you can select which ones you want on and off. For myself, uh, from, I used to have just certain ones selected I want on, but I realized when I just click them all off that uh, my battery life increases. And this doesn't affect the apps. However, when you initially click on the app, it'll take a tad, a millisecond longer to load. But that's pretty much it. But this is definitely a big uh, battery. This will definitely save your uh, your battery life. Okay, let's go back. Go back again, and let's go down to privacy. Location service is another big one. Like, come on, this is like so ridiculous. Location services. I mean, typically I have all mine on just about like never. I mean, like, uh, come on, United. While you, I, I, I don't even need this. Click on like never. Or we can simply do is you can click up here, locate, you can just click them all off. But I like mine on, especially just only for the maps. But if you look through here, like I had Hong Kong map on here, it was on while, uh, it was uh, location access was on always, but I'm not even in Hong Kong. So make sure you look through this list here. And let me click back, we're gonna go back again. Now we wanna go into your email, okay? So we'll click on mail, contact, and calendars, click on that. And where it says fetch new data, we're gonna click on this. Now every time you guys get like, a, um, if, if you're, um, every time you get an email, you, you know, your phone's gonna ring or buzz or whatnot. And by default, yours is gonna be on like push. I would recommend just turn it off, make sure that it's on manual. This way, um, you know, whenever you have time to check your email, you just check your email. And that's gonna save a lot of uh, battery usage as well. Click on back. Go back again. Okay, now let's go into Safari. Click on Safari and then look at this here. Okay, by default, yours is gonna say, uh, do not track, the toggle is gonna be off. Come on, you wanna put it on. Why do you want them to track you? And we're gonna go back. And last, what we wanna do is we wanna go to privacy. We wanna scroll all the way down to where it says advertising, click on advertising. And by default, the uh, ad track, limit ad tracking is gonna be off. We wanna put that on. And then go back and that's pretty much it. You should see that your phone battery life does get increased. If you guys have questions or anything, comment below. Thanks guys, bye.